Good evening. I uh, meant to do a lot of things today that I didn't do, and I did a lot of things that I didn't mean to do, but all of that adds up to the fact that I didn't know what to record for a video today, so I went and found a notebook, and I picked a story. Uh, I haven't probably read this since I originally wrote it, which was probably a while ago, judging from the other content in this notebook. I make no promises. Uh, it's story time. Karis stared at the cave mouth as the soldiers drug her past. The sharp stalactites glistened in the dark, and Kara was reminded of the bright steel swords the soldiers had used to kill her family, glistening with blood. She struggled, but it was of no use. The soldiers held fast like iron. She looked at the two of them. They wore camo fatigues and carried those bloody swords. To Kara, their faces, like their grip on her arms, seemed identical, white, clean-shaven, brown hair cropped short, and those dead, dead eyes. All the soldiers had those eyes, eyes so dull and lifeless that they had no color but black, like they had no soul. She looked away quickly, afraid the lifelessness was contagious. They continued to move through the cavern, Kara's feet sliding on the slimy, wet floor. Soon, noises could be heard up ahead. Men celebrating. Fire flickered shadows over the walls like dancing demons. Kara could smell burning wood and a sharper scent that she couldn't place. Nor did she want to. The soldiers, marching perfectly in step, drug her even closer to the fire and the noise. They turned a corner and there stood the devil himself, a man in a blood-red suit whose eyes smoldered like the demon fire he was using to burn bodies. Kara wanted to scream, but the acrid smoke suffocated her, preventing sound. It didn't seem to bother the soldiers at all. It was as if the smoke sensed her life and wanted to destroy it. The soldiers released her arms and marched in step past the man to where the other soldiers were singing and laughing as they tossed bodies onto the fire. Kara concentrated on their singing, and it was then she realized the sound had no feeling. It was like the soldiers had all been told to sing and laugh in a round and throw the bodies on the fire in time to the music. The whole thing was unnatural. Admiring my soldiers, said the man. His voice flowed softly like a silk rope. But Kara wasn't fooled. She knew that this rope was tying a noose. They're not soldiers. They're golems, lifeless brutes. Very good. It takes most much longer to figure that out. Perhaps you will be worth it after all. That's all I wrote. So uh, enjoy that cliffhanger that will probably never get finished because I doubt I will ever finish that story. The last time I read a story, I got a comment that said that they loved it. So I will probably continue doing story time uh, when I don't have other things to record. So I hope you enjoyed that story and I'll see you tomorrow.